Bernie G. Give him a big round of applause for Bernie G. You guys ready to rock? You guys ready to rock? Party people, if you're ready to rock, and let me hear you scream. And if you really, really came to party, then let me hear everybody say we came to party. Say we came to party. We came to party. Say I'm proud to be gay. <laughs> In our culture, there really isn't like this cultural expectation for excellence. We don't expect excellent things from each other. I mean, it's nice that they happen, right? But we don't expect it. Like if you're Jewish, man, you better be a doctor, a lawyer, a Hollywood producer, or at least own your own bagel company, right? <laughs> If you're Asian, man, you better at least be good at computers or ping pong or something, right? <laughs> but if you're Latino, man, we'll throw a big pachanga if one of our cousins passes the GED. You know? <laughs> we'll kill a pig. We'll go crazy. It's time for the show that floats like a butterfly and stings like MP. Make me laugh! Ernie G. Marlette says, make me laugh. Girl, you are looking so fine, girl. Oh. But you know what I hate about women like you? Women in the 90s got attitude. For one day, I would like to go into a nightclub and be a girl just like you so I could see what it feels like to reject a man. You know, to have some girl come up to me, some guy come up to me, ask me to dance, and just give him that look like, whatever. <laughs> loser plus loser equals whatever. You guys get all creative with your hand signals too. You guys are like, whatever, major loser. Whatever, stupid moron. Loser. <laughs> the big L. He got it with the big L. So my name is Ernie G, you guys. And Ernie <laughs> Ernie G is short for my full name. And my full name is Ernesto Tomas Grichevsky. <laughs> That's my name, man. <laughs> I always get that reaction. I tell people my name, they're like, Grzuski, are you sure you're really Latino? It's like they expect my name to be Ernesto Zedillo Ponce de Leon Sinvergüenza con la fruta de mi ruca. From Hollywood, the dating capital of the world, it's the dating game. We have three bachelors ready to go for the gold in today's dating Olympics, so let's not keep them waiting any longer. And here they are. <laughs> Say hello to Shauna. Hey, how you doing, Precious? Uh, precious? <laughs> Shakespeare said music is the food of love. Make up a song that will whet my appetite for you. Okay, I'm gonna need you guys' help with this one, okay? So like, <laughs> every three in each verse, can you guys give me like a da 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 da? You guys do that for me? Yeah. Yeah. One, two, three. Da, 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 da. This is bachelor number two. Da, 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 da. And I got something to tell you. Da, 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 da. Baby, please pick me. Da, 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 da. And forget one in three. <laughs> yeah, thanks for the help. Yeah. Thank you, audience members. Thank you so much for contributing. <laughs> Woo! That was, yeah. that was good. I mean, my Spanish is good enough, but I'm one of those Latinos who's from here, and our parents are from over there, and we lost it over there. Don't look at me like you're fluent, bro. <laughs> you go to Mexico, you'll find out how much of a pocho you really are, bro. I mean, we could all order some tacos from King Taco, right? Get all those tacos de carne asada, por favor. And as soon as they throw in that, like, con cebolla and cilantro, we're like, oh, shoot. <laughs> pues dame los works. <laughs> con todo, por favor. Numero dos. Okay, Shana, it's a moment of truth. Uh, did you choose bachelor number one? Bachelor number two or bachelor number three? Who did you choose? Well, Chuck, I chose bachelor number two. Bachelor number two. His name is Ernie G. Come on, Ernie. <laughs> oh, very cute. Look at this. That's cute. Look at that. Oh, great. Thanks, Ernie. Yeah, congratulations.
You felt that, sweetheart, huh? You felt that, huh? See, you know what I love about a good grito? A good grito gets you in touch with some memory of some Aztec or some Bushman of the Kalahari dancing around a fire pit. See, I don't care if you're black, white, Latino, Asian. I don't care where you're from. Originally, we are all from one place. Originally, we are all from some cave or some fire pit. The only difference is the reason why we came out different shades of brown, it just depends how far away you were from the fire. <laughs> See, my Caucasian friends, right? You guys are always thinking ahead, planning. You guys brought your blankies and your binoculars sat way in the back. <laughs> Latinos and blacks, we thought that was a barbecue. We sat right up in front. <laughs> Got burned to the crisp. My black friends, they were a little closer than us, actually. They were actually working the grill, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Even my Asian friends, you guys were at that barbecue, too. It's just you guys were further back than the white people. That's why your eyes turned out like that. You're like, hey, what's going on here? What's going on? My name is Ernie G. I'm out of here. See ya!